Dozens of restaurants in Baltimore City have scored poorly during health inspections this year, and now consumers have a tool to help them know before they go. WJZ is live. Amy Yancey's in Hamden with more on this new web source. Amy? Well, Mary, as you know, Hamden is one of Baltimore's top foodie destinations, and now diners can go online and see a lot more than just what's on the menu. From keeping food at unsafe temperatures to this. Sometimes restaurants are closed and they'll put on their door, we've gone on vacation, when actually there was a cockroach and mice infestation. In the last six months, all types of violations were reported at more than 30 Baltimore food establishments. Now the Baltimore City Health Department is putting all those health and safety issues online and just a click away from consumers. Before the web portal, if you wanted to see a restaurant's inspection report, you had to physically come here to the health department and request it. Not anymore. The newly launched web portal gives easy access to recent food inspection reports. Last year, health officials pushed for restaurant gradings, but the law didn't pass. Health Commissioner Dr. Leanna Wen says this is the next best thing. We believe that people have a right to know how safe their food is. The site includes restaurants and any place that serves food and drinks in Baltimore City. All you need is its name or address. It makes sense that someone should be able to find out if the restaurant is or was dirty in the past. Follow me right back this way. Deborah Dutton is the restaurant manager at Alchemy in Hamden. She says the online records can be a badge of honor for restaurants who pass inspection. It gives the restaurant an incentive to, you know, do the absolute best that you can do for health inspections. And gives diners something to consider along with the menu. And to report any unsanitary or unsafe conditions at a restaurant, all you have to do is call 311. Reporting live in Hamden, Amy NC, WJZ, Eyewitness News. Back to you. All right, Amy, thank you. And to view the new web portal, we have a link on our website, cbsbaltimore.com.